Okay, so now what we're going to do is look at something called tab groups. And you may not have noticed it inside of your Chrome browser, but you have the ability to have something like this where I have tabs up here. And even though I am on uh, this particular tab, this grouping of tabs, when I click on it, will expand and open up and allow me to click on the different files. Uh, if I click on the next set of groups, it will open that up and then allow me to click on any one of those, as you can see. And then closing the group is just clicking on the group itself and doing that. So you can easily expand and you can set the colors for any one of these groups and even add to them. So if I wanted to create a new group, maybe for Google Workspace here, uh, what first I'm going to do is right click and you can see it says add tab to group. And so I can choose an existing group if I want to add any particular tab that I already have. But if I want to create a brand new group, click on new group, and then it automatically does it in default by in gray. If I click on it once, it closes it. But if I right click on it, it allow me to name this group. So let's just call this Google Workspace. And let's give it a nice blue color here. And so that's it. So if that tab is open, then when I click on it, I can't close necessarily all of the items in there. Um, if I want to add different things to it. For instance, let's say we want to add calendar. I can go ahead and add the calendar and I right click add tab to group. Oh, it's not listed. So why is it not showing it as a group? because it's already part of a group. But if I go over here and let's say I add something different, like mail, and then I want to add that to a group, it's going to list all of them. But if you do it right after, it'll, it'll actually just put it in there. So I'm going to add this to the workspace group. And so now at any time, I will have all of my groups together and I'm going to try to close this Google Workspace group, but it won't allow me because I'm in one of those tabs. So if I go to a brand new tab, open it up, now it'll allow me to close. And then easily when I come back to my browser, I have all of these kind of already set, organized ways of getting to my work. So I'm thinking like as a teacher, you may want to set up um, groups for your classes. Um, maybe you have a uh, two classes that you te teach that are specifically uh, the same class, but you're kind of doing things different with them. You could set them up in different groups and that way you can organize your tabs so that it's easy for you to find. And that way you can always know by color or something that, that those classes are to go with that. Or if you teach totally different classes, is instead of having a different desktop or a different window, it just allows you to have more space up here in your browser and then allows you to, to organize it in that way. So if you want to change it at any time, you just right click, you can change the color, you can ungroup things, you can even move the entire group to a new window.